Good night, everyone. My name is Liam, and I'm a student at Colorado State University. Tonight, I'm standing here to present about the plan of building the first subway line in Hanoi, Vietnam. So, Vietnam is one of the developing countries with a high economic growth rate. Uh, it's still uh, like a potential space for urban construction and urban development. During the process of social development and urbanization, many problems have occurred such as traffic congestion, lack of accommodation, and environmental population. Those problems demand a sufficient solutions. Therefore, I have come up with the idea of building the subway line, the first subway line in Hanoi, Vietnam to solve those problems. And Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam having the most serious levels of those problems. Therefore, the subway line will be considered as a good measurement for problems such as traffic jams, noise pollution, and air pollution. In the next part, I will discuss the reasons why Vietnamese government should pursue this plan. Taking example of other countries in the regional area such as China, Korea, Singapore, and Japan. They are all suitable images of country developed from the title of developing country country including subway construction plans in their policies so <laughs> there are three advantages of building the first subway line in Hanoi firstly it's about the space saving building subway can save a lot of space meant for vehicles cars and people in Beijing China the underground traffic includes 30 subway lines 391 uh, subway stations and cover a total route over 1 million kilometers is a huge number. Uh, the next one is money saving. By focusing on the economical development and profitable characteristic of the project, the long-term effect of the whole economy and people living standard will be greatly improved. Subway significantly reduce national fuel consumption and it will retain traffic jams saving time as in time is gold. Uh, the last one is environment saving. Subway will help reduce the vehicle emissions from a large number of motorbikes and cars running every day in Hanoi. In combination with traffic congestion, the level of pollution, pollution will be greatly reduced. So in conclusion, overall this plan should be adopted and implemented as soon as possible in the current context of rapid globalization and traffic problems in Vietnam especially in Hanoi are serious and it needs to be dealt with immediately so I suggest the, this uh, project to be on top of the plan. There are some counter argument about investment of course and the maintaining capital for the plan. But if we look at the long term economic and social benefits, the current situation is fully offset. And uh, it's the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.